Hey everybody, my name is Kevin Potter and I make a line of hydraulic presses. I'll start off with the biggest one first. This is our 50 ton press and it's more designed towards the artist than the jeweler. And it's got a standard 50 ton bottle jack in it, matching platens. Up in the top there's one inch tooling holes. It's half inch thick steel plate. That's very strong and it's doubled up. There's two plates. Then we went over Turn it. As you can see, here's the side profile. I had to go with the acorn nuts. Those are really cool. Even though they cost a lot, but they sure look good. Anyway, moving on. Here is the very first press. My friend Lewis designed this. He's a mechanical engineer. And we designed it so that it could be shipped in a flat rate shipping box. So it only costs 12 bucks. But the cost of these hydraulic cylinders with the external pump is just too high. So we haven't, we've only made one of these. The next one, we designed it. It's a lot more affordable. It's got a standard bottle jack in it. I, made, I went with a small platen so that people couldn't accidentally put their work off to one side and shoot it out of the press and hit themselves with it. This one is same concept, it's half inch thick steel plate, they're plasma cut, and this is the latest, the latest and the greatest. It has a much larger platen and it has guide pins, nylon guide pins that guide the platen up and down. And it's got a different bottle jack and a gauge. It's also powder coated. The, it has the same system. We didn't go with a large upper platen because it, you can't see what you're doing with the large platen. It gets in the way and blocks your vision. And people end up doing this, putting their face right in front of it so they can see what they're doing. That's bad. So this way you can always be, you can look down and see what you're doing and it's a lot less risky. These presses are made in two parts. They're cut with a here, anyway, here's the bottom. And the way it's designed, there's only two critical joints on the whole press. It's a lot more efficient and safer. There's only two places where you could have a failure. Uh, it's not going to fail because the metal is going through here and it's welded in the back and on the front sides. So it's really strong. And it's lightweight because the shipping on this won't be nearly as bad as a lot of other presses on the market. It probably weighs half as much. This one has mounting holes. I have it temporarily mounted on the table like this just for demo purposes. But should you buy one, there's holes provided for a good, you know, just to bolt it down. We also make a whole line of tooling for it. All the tooling that I make has a one inch hole so that you can bolt it into the press. Same with this one. It tightens in with a little set screw here. I have several different diameters and radiuses of pushers. And we also make contained urethane. These here, I like to use the 90 durometer, and it's contained in these containers. <laughs> that sounds kind of silly, doesn't it? Anyway, I have two, well, three different kinds of containers. This is my low one. This is performing flatter objects. In a low, so you can see what you're doing. This one here is designed to work in conjunction with the silhouette dies. The reason it's got the high sides is so that you don't accidentally shoot this across the room. It's contained. It guides it in there. We also make a line of pancake dies. These are for shearing the metal. This one here is just a swoosh. I have a whole variety of these, and I'll demo them in another video. That's all for this video. So, thanks for watching. See you later.